Okay, so something's happened. Uh, it was obviously um, a form of a mistake, uh, but it was something that destroyed, um, something was destroyed or uh, broken uh, and can't be fixed. It could be in the form of a relationship, something that happened. Um, you know, it didn't, it, it wasn't meant to happen, but it was something that caused irreparable damage. Um, and uh, it caused, stirred up a lot of problems as well. So some event has happened in your life. There's a lot of drama that came in with it. It was also brought in a lot of enlightenment with this lightning strike, uh, but caused, stirred up a lot of problems as well. And it was in the form of information. You've got this wisdom card over here. So a lot of, something has come to light as well. But whatever it was, maybe you suddenly realized uh, that it was a mistake. The whole thing was a mistake, but it stirred up a lot of problems as well. So in the past, there was some kind of scandal and you received bad news. So something happened, whatever that event was, uh, you know, a lot of people, it got a lot of tongues wagging, if you like, and it was in the form of bad news. So something has happened that has caused up a, a lot of problems, some kind of big drama that, that you've gone through. You might be dealing with a, a dark-haired woman and this woman might be standing in your way. She's presenting some kind of barrier um, and um, you might need to communicate with her to get things moving. But she's blocking your path in a sense. Uh, so whatever this case, whatever happened over here, this woman is the person that you might need to speak to uh, in order for you to make things uh, moving and get your power back. So, um, you know, she might be a very powerful woman, uh, but it is somebody that you need to get in contact with or you need to present your case to this person in order for you to move forward. So this is the energies for that week. So this is the uh, Cook's Tarot, and I have put the deck in the description box. Did not put down <laughs> card. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so the main energies are the six of pentacles over here. So, um, you know, you might have been dealing with the situation. Uh, where, you know, you thought everything was on the upfront. So the person that you're dealing with appeared to be uh, really, um, you know, upfront and they seemed to be uh, somebody that you could trust. Um, but they might have been doing things behind your back over here because you've got this person stealing eggs here while they're handing you the apple. So they might have given you, been giving you one bit of information and in the meantime doing something else behind your back. Whatever they were doing was, you know, um, a bit dubious and uh, not very, very honest. So this could also be about, you know, you needing some kind of financial assistance and, um, you know, you asking for it or you handing out financial assistance as well. But in this case, you know, it looks like this person is, uh, you know, doing things that were not quite so savory. So they, it's almost like they had their hand in the cookie jar, if you like. So they've been uh, doing something. It could be involving theft. It could be that kind of situation. This is also you trying to get your balance back as far as your money goes. So you're trying to do uh, things to make sure that you're, you keep your balance as far as finances go. And, you know, if you are um, having a bit of problems with finance, um, asking for some financial assistance if you do need it. So let's see what's happening uh, with you. So there is uh, the Ace of Swords. So something coming to light, uh, something being exposed. Uh, so, you, you know, you might have been doing your own private investigations about whatever the situation was, and you're getting to the heart of the matter and exposing everything for what it is. You're getting to the truth of the matter. This could be a, some kind of legal situation that you're involved in. This could be about, you know, a legal investigation uh, where, um, uh, you know, something is being analyzed and a lot of truth coming to light. So there could be some kind of investigation, uh, but truth coming to light and things are being exposed here. 
There's a victory card over here. So this is the Six of Wands. So whatever this truth is that's being exposed in this card with the Ace of Swords uh, is the thing that allows you to be victorious in that particular situation. Now, with the Six of Wands, it always talks about having gone through a very, very difficult period and then finally winning a battle. So whatever this truth is coming, uh, you know, you've been through the mill, you've been through a really difficult time, and then this particular truth sets you free. It allows you to get victory in that situation. This could also be a legal judgment after going through a very, very difficult situation, finally a legal judgment coming into play, um, you know, finally a decision being made so that you are victorious in that particular situation. It could have been, you know, this uh, truth coming to light could have been theft or it could have been the dishonesty being exposed and it allows you to come out looking, uh, you know, sh showing people that, you know, you were in the right all the while. So this is almost like getting justice for whatever uh, has been going on. So you've got the devil card over here, and this is dealing with a very negative situation. Uh, you can see somebody being very controlling. They've got handcuffs on this person and, you know, things being very closed to you. So they're controlling finances. You, you, you're in a situation where somebody is really pulling all the strings, um, you know. So you are have been feeling really manipulated in the last um, uh, year or so uh, in whatever situation you are in. And now you're the Eight of Wands, things are starting to move on, but you need to make some kind of decision. So this is not, haven't you haven't made that decision yet about what you want to do. So you've got a lot of choice coming in over here. And one of those, you know, once you take a seat, it's once you make your decision, then, you know, you can light the candles for the cake. So enlightenment coming in once you make the decision or things start moving once you make the decision. Because then, you know, the candles can be lit. Enlightenment coming in, things start moving. But there's also some kind of news that you're waiting for as well. So that news comes in as well. But it looks like you have to make a choice. There's some kind of choice that you have to make and some investigation would be needed. With the Ace of Swords, it's also talking about investigating things and looking at things from a very logical point of view. As I say, it is possibly something legal that has come to light and a decision being made on that. And you win that particular decision. Now, the Nine of Cups is about satisfaction and being very happy about what is coming uh, to you. So this has been on your mind. You want this to come in for you and maybe whatever this decision is, is going to bring you that joy, that satisfaction, that independence. It's certainly going to be a wish fulfillment. So something that you've been thinking about quite a bit. So going into the future, you've got the Two of Wands. This is another card about making a choice, making a decision. And you can see he's got the box of matches in his hands and he's lighting this candle. So you do make, need to make He's got an unlit candle in his hand and a box of matches. So you do need to make a decision. So the Eight of Wands is talking about making a choice, making some kind of decision that's going to change your life completely. And, you know, the Eight of Wands is also communicating with a lot of people. But the Two of Wands is definitely ch uh, choosing a pathway in life, making a decision. And, uh, you know, it might be about travel, about moving on. It might be even about staying uh, in the same place that you are and enjoying what you're doing. So you have that decision about what to do next, and you're at a crossroads in your life right now. And this could be about work. It could even be about a relationship. These are usually new projects because it's the Wands card. It's about new enterprises. So, you know, about a career path, about choosing your destination. So if you've got an idea, you need to go with it. You need to actually put all your effort into that idea. You've got the box of matches in your hand over here so and the candles. So you do have some brilliant idea, but you need to set it in motion. And you need to make that choice. If you do that, you've got the Ace of Pentacles, something brand new coming in for you. This is having your cake and eating it. So some kind of new change in your financial situation. It com comes in the form of a gift. It could be a new job, a new a course of study, um, you know, a new pathway in life. Something that brings in new money, but also changes the way your perspective, your financial perspective of life. So you are, you can see there's a path. Your pathway is open. The door is open for you. And this, uh, whatever this gift is, whatever this offer is, comes in, allows you to move forward. So this is, your, your path is, you know, is clear. There's no obstacles in your way here. But you need to actually uh, accept that offer and move forward. And so maybe this is what the choice is about, whether or not to accept that offer and move forward. You've got the Ten of wa uh, Wands over here. So whatever job you're doing, whatever you're doing right now is... Uh, you're carrying a lot of responsibilities and there's a lot of pressure uh, from the people that you work with. You can see, and there's, you know, they stir up a lot of problems. They cause a lot of chaos and you have to deal with all of that plus all the responsibilities you're carrying as well. 
and the door is partially open but not quite here you've got your foot in the door here uh, but you're coping with all these responsibilities and burdens uh, so you need to drop them in order for you to you know put them down in order for you to open this door and move forward and it looks like this new opportunity over here you can see the door is wide open here this new opportunity that's been going to be presented to you is going to allow you to put down those burdens and move forward you've got the full card so you're going to be starting something brand new brand new or you want to start something brand new and i say go for it so you've got the Queen of Swords over here, the Queen of Wands, and the Temperance. So there's two Queen cards over here. This is taking control of the situation. So you've got to be very, very analytical, very, very precise. Um, you've got to know exactly what you want with this Queen of uh, Swords. And don't be swayed by anybody's decisions or anybody else's opinions. And the Queen of Wands is taking a position of responsibility and being in the limelight for things. So no matter what, you're going to be, you know, in charge and you're going to be giving the orders. You can see she's got her finger up, pointing around. She's got her lipstick on. So she's, you know, she's ready for this particular job that's coming. So uh, this card is about analyzing and, uh, you know, almost in a critical role, if you like, you know, criticizing people, but also taking a stand, a stand for what you want and putting it down, you know, being very logical about what um, you want done and being very precise and conveying that message to people. This is what you want. There's some kind of deadline as well because you've got the clock over here. So there's some kind of deadline that um, uh, you are working under as well. Um, but being very, very precise. Now, the Queen of Wands, uh, Swords tends to be a bit of a loner. Uh, she's been through a lot as well. So, it, you know, you need to, um, you know, let go of any kind of emotional uh, baggage that you have, make a decision and go forth. And, uh, you know, show people that you are in charge uh, and that you can do this particular task. And, you know, she's got her cat over here. So uh, she, use your intuition. You know what to do. You know what to say. And you have got what it takes to be in charge as well. And the temperance card is about taking all that you have learned, blending it together and making something wonderful of it. So all your experience, you need to show people that you have all this experience and you can do this particular task. And you do. You have everything that you need in order to succeed. And, you know, you need to keep yourself very emotionally balanced. Don't get depressed. Don't get negative. This is a card about, you know, um, keeping the middle road. It's also a card about healing and, and, you know, keeping yourself in balance. And blending all that information, all those experiences that you have, and showing, you know, making that, that perfect drink. So show people that you have what it takes to be able to function uh, you know, with authority. So you've got two queens over here functioning in a situation with great authority and great leadership. Uh, but make sure that you know, you're keeping everything in balance. And make sure that you are not overstressing yourself, overworking. Um, watch out for your health as well. So uh, don't uh, stress yourself out because that can lead to stress illnesses in itself. So in order for you to take a break, uh, you know, spend some time, um, you know, looking after yourself as well. So you've got the Three of Winter over here, and this is the Oracle Read, which says, Sadness is a part of life, but you don't have to endure it alone. You may need a little time to heal, but once you work through your emotions, you will be stronger than before. So if you're going through any kind of um, depression or sadness, you know, it's time to uh, open up and speak to somebody about it, get some kind of support. This is a new moon. You will be moving on to something better. And you will be able to cope. You have the strength to cope with it. Then you've got the wheel, which is a change that is coming in. And um, expect a sudden positive change in your life. You can now move forward and make great progress. So you've got all this abundance falling. You've got these, um, these pears on the ground over here. So you can see the wheel of fortune is turning and your abundance is starting to come in. And you've got the ace of winter over here. It says implementation of your new idea may act... Um, May act off to, a, sorry, may start off, uh, let me read that again. <laughs> Implementation of your new brilliant idea might get off to a rocky start, but keep going. The challenge will help you refine your plan and reshape your goals into something even better. The writing of the card is not so wonderful, but uh, it says that you are beginning something brand new. And even if there's a little bit of hassles along the way, uh, you will be able to sort this out 
and it will be successful. So whatever you're doing, there's a big change coming in. Let go of any kind of sadness that you have. Um, and the Wheel of Fortune is bringing some positive changes. And it looks like even though, you know, it might be a bit of a rocky start, it looks like things are going to proceed very, very nicely. So you're getting to some kind of leadership position. Let go of these burdens and responsibilities. Delegate it to somebody else. Let somebody else take care of it. You're going to have your cake and you're going to be able to eat it. So something new coming in for you. And, you know, but you have to make that decision as well well and also something being exposed truth coming to light uh you know whatever um maybe this is that positive judgment coming in uh for you and it's going to bring a lot of victory as well so i hope that this reading has resonated please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it has thank you so much for watching take care now